This course is an introduction to ethics, and we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about what is ethics or what is morality. These two are synonyms for us. We're mostly going to learn by doing. We'll figure out what ethics is by reading ethics and thinking about ethics and talking about ethics. But I think it is helpful to have a very, very broad kind of overview of the landscape before we dive in to the course. So just broadly speaking, in philosophy, when we talk about ethics and morality, we're talking about what is the right thing to do, what is good and bad, what is right and wrong, what is virtuous and vicious, what is permissible and impermissible, uh, what ought you to do, what would it be better if you did, things like this. And so all of these things kind of fall under the heading of ethics. And then we often subdivide ethics into three kind of broad categories. So the first category is Meta-ethics. Meta-ethics is sort of questions about ethics, uh, like higher level questions about ethics, uh, questions about the uh, lower two categories. So some example meta-ethical questions are things like, is morality subjective or objective? How do we know the answers to moral questions? Is it always rational to be moral? These are the kind of things that we ask in meta-ethics, these kind of broad theoretical questions about ethics itself. In normative ethics, we have uh, the project of basically coming up with systematic theories of ethics, systematic theories of morality. So the thought is, look, ethics is we're interested in what is the right thing to do, or what is the right way to be, or what kind of person should I be? And philosophers come up with theories that aim to sort of describe this in a systematic fashion. And we're going to look at least at three theories in this course, uh, three of the sort of most popular categories of theories, virtue ethics, which focuses on ethics from the point of view of uh, being a good person, uh, deontology, which focuses on uh, ethics sort of from the point of view of people having individual rights or ethics being made up of a series of uh, demands that you must comply with, and then consequentialism, which says ethics is all about the consequences. For virtue ethics, we're going to be reading Aristotle. For deontology, we're going to be reading Kant. And for consequentialism, we're going to be reading John Stuart Mill. And uh, we may read more people who fall into these categories, depending on what we pick for the rest of the course. And then for applied ethics, uh, we just have sort of ethical questions that we try to answer, sort of applied ethical questions that we can answer using our normative ethical theories, or sort of saying, look, let's not pick a specific theory, but that let's try to approach these ethical questions uh, just uh, themselves. And so examples of that are things like, should same-sex marriage be legalized? Uh, is it ethical to eat non-human animals? And so, like I said at the beginning of this video, all of these categories are sort of uh, vague and broad and not very specific. Do not spend your time trying to memorize them or spending too much time, time trying to figure out how to tell them apart or how to tell apart the different things in the categories. So for instance, we're going to read Kant as an example of deontology, but uh, he has a very big component of virtue in uh, his moral system. So Kant talks a lot about virtue, and so in a way he's also kind of a virtue ethicist. Or um, a lot of consequentialists have a lot of concerns with virtue or with the sort of things that are on deontology. And the people we read when we learn about normative ethics, especially Kant and Mill, they're asking a lot of meta-ethical questions too and trying to answer those. And sometimes they and Aristotle try to answer applied ethical questions. So these are not hard-line categories that uh, we need to sort of keep apart uh, specifically, so don't get too caught up in that. And again, like I said at the beginning, we're going to learn through doing, and so really what's most essential in this course is that you do the readings, and you pay very close attention to the readings. So don't go into the readings trying to sort of uh, get this categorization in your head or something. Just going to go into the readings looking to get from the readings what the readings are telling you. So I give this at the outset to sort of help understand the landscape and maybe to help you decide what kind of things uh, you want to study for the remainder of the course. But ultimately, uh, this is not going to be a deeply systematic course. We're not going to try to sketch out the entire field of ethics and put everything into little boxes. Really, we're just going to sort of get an introduction to the field by reading some topics within it from these three categories. But Really, what's important is the stuff we read. So do the reading, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy learning about ethics with me.